Ladies and gentlemen, let's try game into the common video. Let us discuss yet another card in the Maxwell family. This time, Nvidia's GeForce GTX 860M have been some leaked uh, benchmarks and other bits and bobs regarding this card. It's also available as an article. You can click on the link in the description if you so desire. So, uh, what do we actually get with this card? Well. Unfortunately, the GPU clock isn't being recognized properly with GPU-Z, which is unfortunate. Of course, we're using GDDR5 memory, which is, well, obvious, but 2 gigabytes of it. Not awful, I suppose, running at 1,253 MHz uh, standard. On the other hand, it's just over 5,000 MHz effective. And the card does indeed feature 640 kg. CUDA, I'm sorry, CUGA, CUDA cores, 40 TMUs, texture mapping units, and 16 ROPs, which may sound pretty familiar if you've heard the specs of the GTX 750 TIE. The only problem with this card is the memory bandwidth. It's utilizing 128-bit bus rather than 192 of the 770M. Regardless, the card is nevertheless actually beating the 770M when it comes to 3D Mark. For example, in the standard 3D Mark 11, you're hitting 5,339 with the uh, 860. Meanwhile, the uh, 770 is hitting just over 5,000. So there's about 300 point gap there. It's slightly below, however, when it comes to the extreme profile. So it's probable the memory bandwidth is causing the concern here. Now, of course, from what we know about the Maxwell architecture, and it certainly doesn't mean it's necessarily true for laptops, but we can pretty much assume that it's likely to be uh, the case that well, it's pretty damn overclockable. So the Maxwell architecture has pretty great um, potential in that respect. Now, of course, this is going to be a very interesting time for NVIDIA. Because, well, we've just heard that Microsoft are planning to support low level with DirectX. Um, OpenGL is going to be the same thing. Obviously, that means DX, um, DirectX 12 rather support. And, Various other bits and pieces are happening in the gaming industry right now, so I'm very curious to see exactly what happens with Maxwell. Regardless, it's going to be a pretty damn impressive architecture, particularly when it comes to the high end. Sorry guys, my voice is going a little bit, as some of you may know, I am a smidgen sick, not too sick. So the card does actually come with 2 gigabytes of memory, which isn't a really a big problem at the targeted resolution. Um, by the way, that's 1080p, and it should be able to run that pretty damn well. Now, the good news is for the M variant, of course, is that it's going to consume considerably less power. Indeed, it's going to be consuming about 30 watts less, at 75 watts for the 770, and you're going to be hitting around 45 watts for the 860, which, of course, is pretty damn important when it comes to, well battery life. Anyway, that's just about it for this particular video. I haven't done too much recently, the last couple of days. I'm trying to rest up my voice so that I don't crumble at the seams over the next few days. But I shall see you soon. Take care and bye for now.